Welcome to the coach's corner. Today we're going to set up a bait casting reel. I've already taken the liberty of running the line through the guides, run it under the spool, back over the top, and out the eye in the front of the reel. Now what I'm going to do is to tie a simple granny knot once, a granny knot twice, bring the line down tight, and it'll lock in on the spool. What I want to do next is to turn the reel until the center centers in the reel and move my line over so it's in the center of the reel. That way when I roll it on, I'm going to roll it on evenly. Out on the lake, you can do this. Some, somebody told me it didn't work for them. And you can imagine what happened when it didn't work. There's a bulk spool of line, some of my favorite lines, silver thread. I'm going to throw it in the water and wind it on the line. Winding it on, it's important that you keep your finger and thumb on the line so that you can keep it tight so that it goes on smooth and level on your reel. Each reel has a little mark on the spool. No matter who the manufacturer is, there's a little mark on that spool that indicates when it's full of line. I generally overfill my reels because I like to cast farther. And if you have more line on there, you can cast farther because there's less friction as the, as the spool rotates. But for most people, even most professional anglers, they don't overfill their reels. Wish I'd started with a smaller reel today. One that doesn't hold so much line. Once you have the appropriate amount of line on your spool, it's important that you get your other spool out of the water and not pull too much on it. All right, now, let's put a lure on here. Any lure that we happen to have handy will work. In fact, when you set up your reel, you should set it up with the lure you're going to use to fish with. This is a rattling chug bug that just caught a coach. In fact, it's got pain in the eye. We'll go ahead and use this one. All right, the most critical part in setting up a bait casting reel is right now. What you want to do is to set your magnetic drag to zero. Whatever your magnetic drag is to zero, push in the mechanism that allows your spool to flow freely, whether that be a thumb bar or a push button. The next thing you want to do is to loosen up your magnum adjustment on the side. Take your thumb and slide the spool. If you can slide the spool from side to side, it's too loose. Slowly tighten that adjustment up until you can no longer slide that spool from side to side. Once you reach that point, which on this one happens to be right now, once you've reached that point, that is the maximum amount of looseness in that reel. That is the maximum amount that will allow you to cast the farthest. The next thing you do is just hold that rod up, hold the reel up, 
push the button and let the lure free fall to the floor, to the water. If you have overrun of line, take it out. Wind it up. Bring the lure back to the rod tip. Take Nick magnets and adjust them halfway. Once again, push the button, let the spool drop. If the lure lands and there's some, there is some here, overrun, take it out, bring it in, tighten up the magnets halfway more between halfway and all the way, so a total of three quarters. If you didn't have any overrun, you could back it up, go backwards. Now, once again, push that button, let the lure fall. If it lands and there's no spool overrun, then you've got it perfectly adjusted. In this situation, if you cast correctly, you do not need your thumb on the spool. We'll see. We got a little wind at us, so I've got an excuse that doesn't work. Now, what we want to do, when you're casting overhand, you want to turn the reel handles up. I have no idea why. Somebody told me one time, with the spool running this way, up and down, you have less chance of overrun as when you're casting like this. All I know is it works. Spool down, point it at your target. In my case, I'm pointing it at those lily pads far away. Point it at your target. Notice the amount of line between the lure and the rod tip. You don't need a lot. You don't need too little. But you need some. On the back cast, we're going to load up the rod. Then when we bring it forward, that's also loading up the rod. When the rod tip is approximately 45 degrees in the air, we'll release our thumb off the spool. The lure will go out there, ran light by the lily pads, and a monster bass will jump on it.